everyone. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon. It's August 28th. When I said lazy, yes, lazy. Just a quick walk around here in the backyard. out the cherimoya I need something to plant here and I do have some options people have some suggestions now's the time to chime in leave a message leave a comment in the comment section there's another empty spot here there's a loquat I haven't seen it start blossoming yet but it's coming a tangerine got a I do have a Mary is sitting over here. I'm going to get some water over here. Persimmon. Persimmon. Looking a little baked. This is the coolest Sunday we've had in a while. So I'm out here just to do a quick walk through. Get our Adamoya Chermoya underneath the grapevine. This, this guy, this nectarine's going to have to come out. I thought about grafting, but I think the it's, it's done. So, anyway. Got our Asian pear. Got that pear tree. Lots of pears on this guy this year. Orange tree. Lemonade. This may be our Meyer. Uh, this is a lime guy here, but I don't see any fruit on it. If there is, I don't see much. Our goji berry. Got a blackberry that's actually nestled in here. That. Root. I didn't plant that. It was from a blackberry that was planted way over there, a good six feet away. It it had died off, <clears throat> and its roots have gotten over here and popped up. So we've got a pineapple I need to get in the ground. There's some more blackberries come coming out of the ground. This is a honey tangerine. It's a mulberry I need to get in the ground. This is a Fukuyami orange, I think. And then we've got uh, a couple of dragon fruits. There's the papaya. There's a... Let's see. You can probably make out a uh, avocado hanging out there in the wind. Another papaya. I think this is a Brazilian, Mexican banana. That's a rupee grapefruit. I don't remember strawberries I was filming this earlier and picked two strawberries that were more tart than sweet but still have a good taste to them I had to stop that video because I dropped the phone <laughs> so I was trying to get into the avocado bush and point out the uh, avocado bush the avocado tree uh, some of the avocados that were in the inside I replanted a new mango in the old mango spot made a mistake in not filming this but I had a mouse eat down the bark part of the mango tree and it killed it so I think this is my fourth mango try second one here actually I had two that died up there so anyway This is a Mexican lime. And it does have some fruit on it. So even though the one behind me doesn't, this one did. Also, I came looking for a fig and I ate it. Let's see if we can. Arr, we're at the end of the, this fig tree season. Let's see if 
I can find one to eat. So, not ready. Ready. Oh, there's one up there. We'll go get it here in a minute. But this, I had the phone and I was taking a look at the three avocados. I started getting into back here and there's, there's more. No, last, this, this year I was given five that I could eat. Previous year, it was two. Previous year, it was none. So, this coming season, I've got about, I don't know, 15, which is good. This back side of the papaya, which we got some growing here, which is good. Grape, a tiger fig, which the birds love to get on these guys. I haven't had one here late in the season, but I'm told that uh, they're supposed to be sweeter. This is supposed to be a pretty sweet one. Um, I have eaten it. It is sweet, but I wouldn't say it was sweeter than my mission that's over here behind me, which I'm about to pick. We'll get there in a second. So, just a second. This is grape. Nectarine, Forte. It's flowered, but no fruit. So this is the bad guy. Oh, there's a couple here. Uh, let's see the birds have gotten to this one. So we'll, we'll pick this guy. All right, let's carry on. So Fuji apple hasn't flowered yet, but some nice green growth on there, but not a lot of new branches. So we'll see. The moringa. I didn't know what was going on with this, but we had about four weeks of over 90 degree weather and that's what it took for it to get moving. I didn't know if it was going to come back or not. So anyway, this is our candy nectaplum. I do have some figs I'll be able to eat. Oh, here we go. That's a, just a beaut. Uh, not just birds, but June bugs. Honey crisp. Alright, lots of nice new green leaves on it. It's never flowered. Pomegranate. Flowered, but no fruit. Let's look at the guava. Get some fruit. Our prince. Peach tree suffering. This is our Anna apple, which are, has already fruited or flowered, fruited, and it has flowered again. And I see. I only see one good fruit on there, two fruit, maybe only one that'll stay, and it looks like it's flowering up there at the top. This guy's also suffering. This is Nectaplum. Oh, Spicy Z. Oh, what's it, the Nectaplum back there? I get confused. Cherry. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice growth there on one of the 
photographs. We did have a little fruit on each one of these, but the crows got to them. And my suffering desert. Nectarine desert delight. Suffering. And plum not doing so good back here, but that's all right. Um, oh, look at this guy, the Stanley Prune. So we're in August, and it's just now spitting out some leaves. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah, that's not good. Although we still have. September and October for really warm weather, so we'll see. Let's turn around here. I think this is an Italian plum. And I had more fruit. I don't know what happened to it all. But there's two. <coughs> oh, I ate one yesterday. It wasn't right. It wasn't. It was soft, but not ready. And this is an avocado. Crazy. And let's walk down here. Look at the shoe. Got a couple of holes. Good picture of that here, here in a minute. We had some food on here, but it all dropped, which is a real bummer. This thing has been, it's not been easy. It's been a slow grower for me. the water there's a sweet potato where the leaves have collected lavender a couple of strawberries in there struggling kiwi back there it doesn't like the direct heat so I had a couple of blueberries that just went just belly up and died so I pulled them out and put a another papaya and that and a different type of papaya that's a Brazilian which I have in another spot in the garden and then I put this guy in this is a strawberry papaya sunrise but this like this blueberry here just no new growth current branches and roots just died and nothing else came out I'm doing something wrong so but I did plant two new blueberries this year and it looks like oh, look at that Awesome. And this guy, I don't know if you remember, was totally devastated with scale. I was not a good steward. But I got all the old scale off and sprayed it with neem oil. Cut back all the dead stuff and we've got some nice growth. No fruit from this blood orange. 
This is one of the first first trees that I planted. This house. Until the next video, please comment, give me some suggestions, what you'd like to see planted. Till then, take it easy and enjoy your gardens.